Right in front of us is the end of the line as it stands currently. This used to be a track that runs all the way to an even more remote place, but it hasn't been reactivated yet. So this is currently the very end of the gathered line. And here we are. Very end. But not for today, because today we're going to take that train that's waiting right over there in the station and drive it back all the way to Jakarta and now in executive class. The train on the right is the Papandayan train we're on today. On the left is inspection train number 4 that followed us earlier. It departed again just before we did as well. There was quite a flurry of activity around the departure of the two trains as you see here, but we made out on time shortly after. It's a prayer time here in Garut. Uh, we are hopping on the Papandayan train, the first one that departs from Garut. And the locomotive already has been moved from there all the way there. I didn't see that happen though. Of course I missed it. And this is the panoramic carriage. Normally drawn by the Argo Parahyangan. But since this is the Argo Parahyangan, only under a different name, it's still here. It will be here for about a week before it will be moved to another train. As far as I can see in the booking system now. They were playing music earlier. I think they are still though on the way back. While railway staff is busy getting the train ready for its return trip, they have less than 60 minutes to do everything they need to do to make this possible. I'm just watching them do the heavy work. Water is topped up, locomotive is coupled with the train again, and just before departure I boarded the train as well so I could get set up before we actually departed. Since there's quite some staff here, everything went smooth as you might expect. They all have their own part in making this happen every time a train pulls in. These jobs aren't the best paid jobs, but are stable jobs. And almost invisible as well. How many times have you actually paid attention to this? Yes, I was able to just reverse the route compared to the one in the previous video, as we are currently on the return trip of the inaugural Papandayan train. This is still the same inaugural train, but with all the extras. Most government employees got in their cars at Garut station and went back to where they came from this morning. The CEO is no longer handing out goodie bags and there was no cultural performance upon arrival at Gambir. This return trip takes 25 minutes longer than the ride coming into Garut. This is due to the fact that there is a lot of single track to Bandung. And because we are in executive class, we receive um, something to eat. Let's see what it is. Oh, that looks really nice. We have chicken, tahu, tempeh, rice, soup, and I think that's a little bit spicy. Oh, that looks um, better than I've ever seen before on the train. Really nice. We are at the station of Lelles, L-E-L-E-S, where it's um, raining. We are waiting for the train in the opposite direction to pass us, and I've heard it's about uh, 10 minutes.
was the Sarayu train. He didn't stop here. Sitting in the first row isn't the smartest idea as uh, you don't have any foot rest and the window is darker than the other ones. And this is Bandung where we got rid of the influencers and boarded some paying passengers. It's about time to go. And these empty seats for influencers. So that's one, two, three, four, five rows. Twenty people. And now there are normal passengers on board. While we are slowly while we are slowly rolling out of Bandung station, it's about time to wrap up the second video, as the ride here is exactly the same as the average Argo Parajangan ride. The same track, stops and exactly the same train even. That said, this one day return trip was a fun one. I haven't done an inaugural train before and I liked how Indonesia State Railway does this. It can create quite the hype on their social media across platforms with discounts and somewhat hidden announcements disguised as surveys among others. It is clear for me that Kereta Api Indonesia or KAI knows what they are doing to lure in a younger generation of passengers that hasn't been spoon fed that train travel is a perfectly viable option as train travel was pretty neglected up to some 15 years ago. They are on the right path and with the arrival of some all new carriages, third generation as they call it, more on that in later videos for sure, a new era has started that will make train travel in Indonesia more convenient for many people while still maintaining a good price point for basically the entire market with subsidized economy class trains, regular economy class and then the executive class and higher which includes panoramic, luxury, sleeper and the most recent introduction, compartments. While they're at it, they can probably fix this metal to metal friction above the door. See you next time.